Before we start the video, I just want you guys to know that I'm out here battling a disgusting case of pink eye. And no, I didn't get it by touching other disgusting things. I got it because I let a guy fart in my eye. Mini Book Pro by Roddy McGee and Noel Porter. What a great transition there. When I went to Magic Live, I met Roddy McGee and I met Noel, and I thought that they were fantastic chaps. Especially better that the Alaka fam, Peter and Harry Nardi, decided to treat all of us to a nice Chinese dinner. However, summarily, I was shown some great products that are going to come out from their company, Trick Trick Boom. And this was one thing that I didn't realize was underneath their moniker. From the moment I saw this, I hated this. I thought that this thing was the thing that makes me want to punch the nearest puppy. Oh, oh, look at the magician and his little laptop. After I concluded my devastating sponge bar routine, now I'm going to produce a little laptop from a phone and I'm going to use it to find a participant selected card. Please direct me to the nearest crumb of vagina of which I have no idea what it looks like. I, I was wrong. I was wrong. This shit's great, man. This is really, really good. I thought that it was going to be one of those things that I would just detest just because of the thought of producing something that is inorganic and not natural to anything ever in the universe, such as a small laptop. But people love this shit. We might need to reset the computer, is that okay? I'll reset the computer. I open it. And because they love it, I, I love it. Boy, I'm really feeling the pink eye now. And it's a great, charming little trick. It reminds me of the sort of kickback from Tommy Wonder's routine. I believe he does with an egg, which is based on another Don Allen routine, where suddenly an egg appears in front of the participant. And of course, that egg contains the playing card that the participant picked inside of it. Now, an egg is not a natural product to a fucking performance. You're just there and suddenly an egg appears in front of you. What does that even mean? What's the connotation there? Same thing with this. It's a weird little prop. It's a fake little MacBook laptop that you could see has a spade with a bit part of it. And they show you how you could produce this from a borrowed cell phone. And then you use it to find the location of the card. Of course, this is then placed right back on the table in front of the participants view the entire time. Guess what? You don't find your card because inside of the laptop is their card and it could be signed. Now you could make the argument that it really doesn't make sense because now you're essentially exposing the gimmick to the participant. That doesn't fucking matter. This right here gets mind blowing reactions. People don't know how to react. They just start wetting themselves. And the reason for it is because you've handed them this little laptop. They've played around with this object. So when they see that moment where this thing that they've been seeing the entire time turns into the card that's signed that they picked, they have no choice but to wet themselves. Speaking of wetting yourself, you should check out the Pick Cake Magic Academy, the home of over 1,500 videos going over card stuff, coin stuff, everything you need to become the best magician you could possibly be, all for the low, low price of $5 a month, which is a white claw, a Budweiser in most bars, and you get access to all these videos, and I'm always uploading new content. So this is not it. This is not it. This list is probably from November of 2023, and it's outdated. I keep using it because I'm lazy. But you get access to way more content than this massive list provides, and new content on top of that. Also in the instructional, what you get is Roddy and Noel going through pretty much every little aspect of this routine. They go over the production, they go over the tricks, they go over individual variations. It's two hours and 50 minutes long, which is more than you could ever ask for. When you get the gimmick, you get 26 additional gimmicks. The rest are available on the website. And on top of that, you get the nice little laptop. I can't tell you how much I wanted to hate this. And it's a similar idea to sponge balls. I always rank 
on sponge balls and I'll still rank on sponge balls to this day. If you're there at the bar casually talking to someone and you decide to bring up the conversation of you being a magician and you pull out this disgusting pubic hair ridden sponge ball out of your pocket and you say, hold out your hand. No, the clean one. <laughs> you deserve instant death. But I've always said the same thing. If you're a professional magician gigging and working and you take out the sponge ball, it's part of the appeal. But I do have to wholeheartedly admit that sponge balls are something that people react to. Regardless of the venue, if you're an amateur, if you're a pro, it doesn't matter. People react to the sponge balls and people react to this. And at the end of the day, it's a great little routine and you could charm it up. You could play it off as you really don't want to show the secret, but this is the secret. Oh, I'll actually tell you how I do this. The way I find your cards, sir, is that I actually use, uh, I use my laptop. I use my laptop, but because of my height, um, it's actually not the laptop you think it is. And I'll show you exactly what I mean with the brand new missing piece playing cards available now. Uh, I, I actually use a laptop. I use a little little laptop to help me find your cards, sir. Um, right, right there is where I keep my laptop. And uh, this is actually what helps me find your playing card. And now you're in it. And it's dumb and it doesn't make sense, but it's so charming. Roddy and Noel are very, very talented and creative magicians, and they have a bunch of shit coming out. This is just one thing that's been around for a while. And again, I really, really wanted to hate this, but I've come around and uh, I was wrong. I'm man enough to admit that I was incorrect. If I saw you at Magic Live, I just want to let you know that uh, I really appreciated seeing you and meeting you guys. I know that a bunch of you came up to me and wanted to take pictures. We shared slurs together, and uh, I was very happy that somewhere in the world exists a group of people that enjoy my content. In two weeks, I'll be going to England and just hanging out with Peter Turner and uh, recording some stuff with him. So if you're there, reach out to your boy. Let's hang out. Let's get a, a pint together. Although I feel like I should take a cooler full of food that's going to satiate me throughout the trip because the one thing you guys don't have is any cuisine. I mentioned this many times that you guys lost the 13 colony lead and I cringe at the idea of you guys ever having been in charge of us because what would we have? We would have sausage rolls on every corner. We'd have uh, biscuits and, oh sorry, your biscuits are cookies. We'd have these awful biscuits that I'd have to dunk in my tea. I'd have an accent. No, thank you. I see you again when I see you. Yeah. Mm -hmm.